Hey guys, it's Gary Wong with GaryWongRealty.com again. People know me as the Christian Realtor. I'm also the author of the book on Vancouver real estate. Today, other than real estate, I'd like to share a little bit about my journey as an entrepreneur in the real estate industry. I just wanna share a little bit about my the inner conflict that goes on in my mind and how I deal with it. Sometimes my business partner and my mentor and other people that I know, they encourage me, they give me suggestions on how to improve my business. And then I try to implement the ideas that they suggest. But in my mind, I have a bunch of thoughts going on. Oh, what if it doesn't work? What if it goes like this? What if this happens? What if it's not as successful? What if I can't do it? What if I fail? Should it be like this or should it be like this? And I think too much about the issue instead of actually taking action. I have a lot of different voices in my head that are stopping me, hindering me from getting outside my comfort zone. And what I've found in the past couple of years, what works is to have a short meditation early in the morning. I do something called the attitude of gratitude. I listen to a song and in the seven minute song and during that time I just give thanks and I just give thanks for what's right in my life, what's good in my life and I just start my day with this peaceful date. Along with that I, I did a lot of affirmations. Basically if I didn't feel like I was good enough or, or any limiting beliefs that I had about myself or any things that I thought I couldn't do or I wasn't good enough. I would write the opposite and I write it out in my phone and I would recite it to myself. It's easy to step outside of my comfort zone. It's incredibly comfortable to, to do this or I'm really good at whatever. If I'm, if I'm nervous and I think I'm not good at sales or something, I'd be like, I'm an excellent salesperson. I'm really good at what I do or whatever. And I'd say all these kind of affirmations to kind of reprogram my brain. Did I feel something change right away? No, not really. But after I did it for months and months and months, I felt like more confident. It seems like it was somehow subconsciously reprogramming my brain. But it was working. And then on top of that, I would do something called visualizations. Visualizations, I would just have dreams that I want. Like what kind of ideal life, ideal business do I want? Ideal family, marriage. And I'd write that in my phone and then I'd visualize, spend about five minutes picturing myself achieving those goals and achieving that kind of lifestyle. And then I would spend five minutes having this visualization time. And once again, I would th do three things, attitude of gratitude, the affirmations, and I would do the visualizations. Okay, number four, I would also write down my goals for the year and I would read those out. Oh, my goal is to do this and my goal is to accomplish this and I'd write it down usually about five to ten goals. Number five, the last last but not least, I would write down my giant size goals. Somebody said that if you're gonna think anyway, think big. So I wrote down some, big, I call it my big and bodacious goals. So I'd write like ten big and bodacious goals that like just outside of my comfort zone incredibly and I have no idea how these would even happen so something would be like i'm going to have a real estate empire I'm gonna have so and so as my mentor i'm going to be best friends with this celebrity i'm going to have this global company like this and da, 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 da. i'd write down i'd read those so five things once again attitude of gratitude i would have my visualizations i would have my affirmations I would read out my one-year goals and I'd read out my big and bodacious goals. I hope that helps you and it helped me in dealing with my inner conflict. Hopefully that helps you in whatever you're doing, whether you're in school, work, or building a business just like me. Once again, it's Gary Wong from GaryWongRealty.com. Until next time, God bless you. Thanks guys for watching my video. Please subscribe and share with your friends. Email me if you have any more questions. Thank you.